Well, Jim, I mean, it's no time to waste. We got to keep moving with this thing. Yeah, now you don't want to tell the people that you had to take a break because they delivered your chicken Big Mac. I had the chicken. I had to take a break because it was break time. <laughs> and it just so happened my meal was here during. Your meal was what here. It was break time today, and it was delicious. A man of your means calling a chicken Big Mac a meal. It's a big thing. It's a big moment. They brought it's this a, over stateside. It's a Big Mac. It's a Big now, Mac. Now with chicken. What are they your brought it over stateside. What did they import it from? From Europe. From Nigeria or in Pakistan somewhere that the, the chicken came from a special overseas supplier? I think it came from Europe. I don't know if the chicken came from there, but the idea of the chicken Big did, Mac. Did the chicken have an accent? <laughs> no, um, it's delicious though. It's delicious though. Very, very it's good. Well, and that, that was paid for by the McDonald's corporation. All right. Continuing on with NXT sexy red. Let's continue on with NXT. We saw her on raw, but this was longer where again, she's apparently from St. Louis. We've established that, Sexy red, there's false advertising on at least the sexy part. She tried to dance and made Mercedes moan stripper shimmy look like a Nuriev performance. And then she started, was she imitating a cat being disemboweled to music? That's the best description I could come up. Was it in English? I couldn't tell. I couldn't understand any of the words. What was going on here? You know, sometimes you just have to be honest with things and say, like I am right now, this wasn't for me. This this isn't for me. I'm not the audience for this. It didn't look like the audience there was the audience for this. Were they cheering like it was fucking 81-year-old Mick Jagger or hopping into satisfaction? No, and you'd need to be that to get cheered because for the most part, I think people go to wrestling to see wrestling. They don't really want music interludes or musicians. Well, they didn't get any musical interlude here. Unless you consider a goddamn flamingo being tortured, music to your ears. And then Ethan Page has become my hero because he came out and interrupted this thing and canceled the concert and cut a promo on everybody. While And, and this, this woman apparently felt like she needed to continue speaking during his interview but finally they played music and out came javon evans who looks like if he turned sideways and stuck his tongue out he'd look like a zipper no you're thinking of leon ruff remember him oh he was even thinner that was nxt remember that yeah boy well javon's still a little a little uh a little on the thin side a little on the emaciated side but Paige tried to sucker punch him, and Javon Evans hit him with some of the worst punches I've ever seen, and Paige bailed out. So Sexy Red's honor was saved. Possibly in a jar somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know where she put her <laughs> honor. Now I'm gonna now the sexy red contention is gonna be after me. And look her up. Google Sexy Red. She probably got more money than you, me, and the fucking county, and it's goddamn ridiculous. Remember when you used to have to be good at something? Well, you just have to be popular. Uh, Janae Nera Wery, professionally what? known as what Sexy is... Red, is an American rapper. She rose to prominence with the release of her 2023 single, Pound Town. Her follow-up single, Hound Ski, Hound? was Ski. met with similar success. Both songs were included on her second mixtape, Hood Hottest Princess. Her 2024 single, Get It Sexy, peaked within the top 20 of the chart and led her third mixtape in Sexy We Trust. 26 years old, St. Louis, Missouri. Mixtape. So she... Uh, we're not talking Arista Records here. She's not on the, the Columbia label or anything. Uh, she's on 
It has three labels listed here: Gamma, Open Shift, and J Rebel. Open Shift, yeah, but but actually, look, what? the labels don't mean shit anymore. That's the problem. The labels are trying to survive in an era when they mean absolutely nothing. And if you have your shit together at all, and you have any sort of buzz, you can just do it all yourself without having to really get too many big players involved. <sighs> So she's a, uh, what is it, what does it take? The TV ratings are so far down. What does it take, I wonder, to be a best-selling recording artist these days? You sell 16 CDs out of the trunk of your car, you hit the charts. I don't know if they sell CDs, really, a lot of these people. Everything's just streaming and downloads. Well, there you have it. Well, there you have it.